Farmhouse Cottage Garden. My name is Jordan and I'm going to show you around my garden today and what is growing. This past week we have had over 12 inches of rain so my garden has absolutely taken off and I cannot wait to show you. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Okay, so this is the front. The first ones I want to show you. These are my beautiful sunflowers. Um, this is my ruby eclipse sunflower and as you can see right in there we have some sunflower heads and they are nice and tall looking great my basil is looking really good down here and then all the strawberries are looking really good as well um, we have another uh, sunflower over there that I transplanted from the green stalks which leads me into the green stalks looking really nice and fine We've got lots of sunflowers, and we're about to be in strawberry heaven here in the next few weeks. And the lettuce and mustard is looking really good. Scott's about to have some lettuce here probably in the next week. So that's exciting. So here is all of the lettuce and the strawberries more sunflowers, more strawberries, and then we have more um, California poppies. We have some carnations that are finally getting ready to go. Um, I will probably transplant those out soon. And then the second green stalk over here with my big sunflowers is looking really good. All of the strawberries are blossoming and looking really 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 good so like I said we are about to be smothered in um, sunflowers and strawberries and here's the lone Cosmo so we'll see how that guy does so here is the green stock planters all right so over here is my flower garden and the sun's a little wonky right now because it's the morning but i am going to show you my beautiful zinnias that are doing so so good we have had blueberries and because they're not protected the birds have got to a few of them so we're having to pick those as soon as they get blue we're picking them um, even if they're not quite ready and then we have my dahlias looking really, really good. No buds yet. Um, I will put cover those buds with some like party bags so that way the grasshoppers and other bugs don't get to them and chew them up. But everything is looking really, really good over here. And then, oh, you know what? I stand corrected. There is a bud right there, so I need to go ahead and get to that sometime later today and put a little bag over that. So I need to get back here and walk back here sometime when it's not five billion degrees outside. And then we have, so it has been super humid, so hence the reason the um, leaves look like that. But this is my Francis Myland rose, and these are gonna be really, really, really beautiful when they open, so I'm excited to show you that. And then more dahlias, which I'm starting to see some more buds over here. So time to break out the baskets or the bags and cover those. These zinnias are doing really good. One of my favorite zinnias right here, looking really nice. And some more zinnias with the bee balm and then the Thai basil for the bees. And just real quick with my hanging baskets, my strawberries are over there doing really good. So. This is my yarrow, still going strong, no flowers yet. And then on this side, this is the one I'm most excited about. This is my feverfew. And if you can see, it has little buds coming in everywhere. So I'm excited to see what this guy looks like when he starts to blossom. Okay, so first things first, this is my rose. This is my Georgia, oh, teasing Georgia rose. And as you can see, we are about to have a bunch 
of blossoms and it is going to be magical so hopefully by next week then we will have some new roses to show you and then i transplanted a russian um or a black a black russian sunflower um and these are going to get really really big and i transplanted one that because one had died right here so i transplanted another one there um and this guy's grown really nicely so hopefully he'll keep on growing um, the one next to him is actually taller than the fence already. So he's got about, I don't know, six inches to go and he'll get up to that one. So that's really exciting. Now over here we have my sun gold cherry tomato. And this one has actually been dealing with some aphids. It's been so hot and I haven't been able to get out here to spray yet. But it's doing pretty good other than that. Um, aphids have been a big issue. I don't think they're going to go away this year. Um, but this tomato plant overall is looking really really good it's got lots of fruit um, on there and it has officially reached the top of the tomato cage and I can no longer prune it because it's so big so it's just gonna turn into a tomato tree it's gonna be really exciting our first bed we have my dr. witchy's tomato right here and it's looking really really good been dealing with aphids like the other one and this one is officially taller than the trellis so we are going to be having uh some tomato trees in this garden um lots of fruit set lots of blossoms um, i'm gonna have to prune this guy off i'll do that later and then we have our two really 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 big or our our fruit down here that's really nice really good size and then some more right up behind it too so looking really good really healthy we have some cilantro popping up down there it's really exciting i don't know what i was doing when i planted over here so we're gonna kind of ignore why i did this but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna transplant um probably this golden zucchini out of here and put it in the other bed so just He's not there, he's going to the other bed. I'm gonna have this small wonder uh, spaghetti squash actually grow out the side of the bed and along the bottom. So we'll see how that goes. I just feel like trying lots of new things. I'm about to pull this radish because as you can see, the leaves are huge, which means the bulb is not doing very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that guy out soon. I did trans or I did put another one in there. So um, hopefully that one will do a little bit better. My Dahlia got pinched the other day so it is looking really nice that is a Marin um, Dahlia then I have my little flower girl Zinnia which has been putting off some really 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 beautiful blooms lately and then right behind it is my San Marzano paste tomato and real quick I'm going to show you this guy where'd he go this little dragonfly he's been hanging out over here with me today so that's exciting so San Marzano paste tomato we have quite a bit of fruit on it um, and so I'm really excited about that this is the one that started the aphids and still has aphids on it as well so this one may not stay for next year but it will you know last throughout the rest of this year since it decided it wanted to attract aphids over here but other than that, it's looking really good. It is my shorter of my tomatoes, which I'm not mad about because I can actually reach the top of it right now. And let me just show you this beautiful flower right here because it's ridiculously gorgeous. Just look at that. This is Little Flower Girl from Florette Farms. Okay, bed number two. This is my pink tie-dye tomato right here looking really good really healthy lots of fruit set on it um and then we have some nice looking fruit right there so that's exciting and as far as i can see there's about probably maybe like four five six tomatoes on here and this one's officially taller than the trellis too so the tomato tree is coming in hot and then we have my giant salmon rose uh, zinnia which is right here which is one of my favorite zinnias and is doing really really well we have another little flower girl zinnia and then we have another dr witchies which seems to be my top performer 
um, over here and look at these fruit on this one too and it's got more so that one's doing really good this one's super super healthy um, let me not jinx myself when I say that and then this one is officially taller than the trellis as well um, and then we have my Signora zinnias that are now taller than the trellis as well and looking really nice this is a sweetie cherry tomato and as you can see they are starting to ripen and this one's looking really really healthy really good and is probably my second tallest tomato in here which is craziness um this is the third bed right here this is my cucumber bed with my lone survivor cucumber from the dog attack and the possum attack. So this guy is living his best life. I pruned up from the bottom, so now he can do whatever he wants now that he is now climbing the trellis. Um, so he's doing really, really good. Lots of blossoms down here, um, as you can see, and looking really healthy. Then we have my snapdragons that I actually topped. So I cut off the main stem and now it's starting to bush out, which is really exciting. And then this beautiful guy, let me see if I can get my shadow in the way of it so you guys can see it better, is my same snapdragon as I did on these other ones. This is the Madame Butterfly Peaches and Cream Mix from Florette. And this guy is amazing. Like, just look at how beautiful it is. So, absolutely amazing. And then I have my Thai basil for the bees. I had to kill, as you can see, some caterpillars. There's actually another one right here. So let me go ahead and get that guy out of there. Um, and so my radish has been attacked. I was supposed to plant a zucchini there and I don't think it's, I don't think it did what it wanted, what I wanted. So we might have to do another one. Um, but other than that, everything's looking really good. The radish is um, towards the end of its life, so I'm, the, I'm not worried about the caterpillars. I'm just staying on top of it. We have another butter stock right here, some onions. We have a um, jalapeno right here. Um, I think I'm going to use some Epsom salt and see if this helps with the blossom dropping um, because they have not set any fruit, which might be normal. Once again, this is my first year growing um, from seed. So uh, other than that, they're doing really good. If you can see back here, my um, buttercream stalk actually started to blossom and it is absolutely beautiful. So that's really exciting. So that'll come out as soon as um, a few more of those blossoms set. And then I replanted some cucumbers. I overseeded like a crazy person because I was just losing cucumbers left and right. So we're just gonna go with it. And then um, I may transplant some more around here as well um, before the roots get really, really like set in. So that's what that is. I'm also growing mushrooms if you can't tell. Okay, so this is my third bed. This is um, my cucumber and pepper bed. This is a habanada and it has lots of blossoms on it but keeps dropping them. So probably do the Epsom salt thing and see if that helps. Um, we have some chives right here and then this is where my cucumbers were before they got destroyed. So they're doing really good. Um, I will probably transplant that one with the second leaf. Actually, there's another one over here. I'm gonna be in cucumber heaven from what it looks like. So I might actually put some, maybe I'll put some over in the string light planner to grow up through the sunflowers. Um, so well, we'll see, I haven't decided yet. I don't like wasting things, but I know I overseeded and I'm gonna have lots of extra cucumbers. So they're gonna have to get thinned out which hurts my heart a little bit. This is an orange bell pepper, which is looking a lot better. However, I am noticing some leaf spot on here. So I'm about to do some research on that when I get a second. Um, I plant, transplanted some lady coral kamoi tower uh, china aster. So that one looks really good and is doing very well. And then we have my snaps over here as well which this one is doing really, really good. So I'm excited to see what color that one is. 
This is my Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato, and let's get my shadow in there so you can see better. These are doing fantastic. This thing is full of fruit, like I can't even deal with it. It's craziness, so taller than the trellis, and it's doing whatever it wants. This is my fifth bed over here. This is my bell peppers, orange and yellows. Um, I do have a bell pepper right there, which is exciting. However, like I said, I am noticing some leaf spot in here, so I'm gonna have to do some digging on that. I also um, seeded another mid Minnesota midget melon. Um, we'll see what happens with that, but the exciting thing here is that the Minnesota midget melon that actually lasted and lived has just taken off and I love melons they're like so whimsical and beautiful and all the little tendrils they're just super pretty so there's that and then like I said the bell peppers I think this is the orange or this is the yellow this is the orange we'll find out my basil is doing really good um, and then this is my little flower girl zinnia. This is my number six bed. This is my red bell peppers with my zinnias and my kajari melon. I'm not sure how the kajari melons are going to do. I did have to reseed some over here, so we'll see how they're doing. Um, it's, once it gets above this trellis, it'll be good. So it's just got to get up above past the, the peppers and it'll be fine. Um, this is my Oklahoma ivory zinnia. Lots of red bell peppers and with my basil. And then I'll show you one of the red bell peppers that I found the other day right there. It's looking really good and healthy. And this plant over here has just like taken off. So we're doing good. But once again, like just like these random leaf spots, I guess I need to look into that. Haven't had time, so. This is my last and final cherry tomato. This is another sun gold. And as you can see, is looking really really nice and those are ripe and ready to go um scott is just waiting on picking those and this guy has so much fruit it's ridiculous it is now up to the string lights right here is my tequila supreme rose that has not stopped blooming it is absolutely gorgeous i love it um, they're like small little roses and they're just so petite and pretty. Um, I can't even deal with them. Um, and so then I also have my black Russian sunflower that is officially taller than the fence. Um, and so that's really exciting because I can't wait for them to blossom and then be right next to this opening. All right, so that wraps up the video today. I hope you enjoyed my garden tour and enjoyed seeing all the things growing. Um, I hope this inspires you to go grow a sunflower, some lettuce, something, um, so that way you guys get to see the excitement and joy when that fruit finally comes to fruition. I usually do these on Sundays, but probably the next few weeks with nursing school and just life in general, it might be on a Monday or a Tuesday, but usually I will put one out every single week. So today it was put out on Monday, and then next week will probably be Monday or Tuesday. I have some exams coming up, so we'll see. And then um, hopefully we'll get back to my Sunday videos as well. I hope to see you guys next Sunday or Monday with the next video. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you soon.